Hello everybody, welcome to another awesome day, another awesome vlog, and I want to talk about that, because when I talk and tell stories about what I'm doing, I don't know if that's vlogging. So people get all technical and weird about everything, so, so I think a vlog is when you, we show our daily life when we're going out someplace, but anyways, we're going to say welcome to another awesome day and another awesome vlog. So, I've been reading my comments, and I thank uh, you a lot for commenting on my solar videos. And I said I wasn't going to do another solar video, but I got a comment on uh, my last video, so I wanted to explain that. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, and I don't know if he wants to be mentioned, but thanks to him and his comment, we're going to do this video. And it has to be, he noticed how I had my uh, batteries hooked up. Um, to the charge controller and um, I was doing it wrong and so we're going to take a look at these batteries and I'm going to explain it. So, are you close? Mm -hmm. So, um, on these two batteries I have them running in parallel so which means I have the negative hooked up to the negative and the positive hooked up to the positive. So. The first thing I was told is I had them hooked up with these thin wires and that was no good. That if I draw too many amps out of this battery at time I was going to overheat these wires. So I went and got some thicker wires. I still don't know if these are heavy enough. But they match the wires coming out of um, my hub here and about the size of the wires coming out of the charge controller. So I kind of matched them. Um, if I have to go more heavy duty, no problem, I will. Second thing is, I had the charge controller hooked up to one battery. I had the charge controller hooked up to the positive here and the negative here. And I was told that that would not charge this battery. A lot of people have more than two batteries in parallel, three, four, or whatever, and usually the last battery never gets charged and dies. So I was told to hook up the positive to the first battery's positive terminal and then coming from the charge controller hook up the negative to the last battery in your mine I only have two batteries but hook up to the negative terminal of the last battery that's in parallel. So that's what I have done and I thank you very very much for letting me know and then I have another question because I was told by another person that when I hook up um, my inverter, our backyard's a complete mess. So when I hook up my inverter, that I can hook it up now on the opposite terminals of where the charge controller's hooked up and run my inverter from those. So I haven't tried that yet. Um, so someone can leave me a comment and tell me if that's okay. I've got the charge controller set up right. I now want to know if I can hook up my inverter this way to the opposite positive and negative terminals. And there you have it. It's just a short little video um, mostly to thank. I want to say his name's Robert but I do not remember and uh, that's it. So everybody have an awesome day. Hey, I interrupt this current video in progress because I do want to say that I have a pretty cool 45 watt uh, solar panel charge uh, controller that is not working and it is not the fuse. And I have a 100 watt uh, charge controller that is not working and there is no external fuse so it might be the fuse that's blown in this because I put more than 145 watts in it. So if you happen to be semi-local to California and you're an electronics type of guy or whatever and you want these charge controllers I'll be happy to send them to you. So just comment below or send me a private message and I have no use for them, and you might, so I'll send them to you. Thanks. Back to your previously in-session video. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye! Bye!